Hi guys, in this video, I'll compare Behif with ConvertKit. So which email marketing software is better, Behif or ConvertKit? First, I want to say there is no one, no uh, software specifically better, but it, yeah, it depends on your needs. Uh, so we choose the, the software that fits your needs. So let's say Behif is better for this and ConvertKit is better for that. So you really need to compare it. So I will give you um, just a list of functions or features uh, that uh, Behave on ConvertKit um, yeah, have. Um, and based on that information, you can make a conclusion for yourself. And I'll, I will also make a conclusion what is fitting my needs, what is fitting my, um, you know, my, uh, you yeah, know, what I want for a, a software. So, uh, let's first begin with Behave is the best for, first of all, content, focus, newsletters, and publications. So it's more based on content uh, production. Uh, and it's an all in one solution for website, email, data analytics, and the growth tools. So um, you also can just blog, for example. It's not only email marketing, it's just, like they say, a all in one solution. Um, also, the ownership of your audience and custom aesthetic. So we have really like, you can decide uh, what you want to do with your audience. Um, you really have, yeah, the, yeah you can decide. Um, also affordable flat pricing that favors growing uh, creators and companies. So yeah, they have like, like they say flat pricing, which is very unique in the email marketing, um, in the email marketing business comparing to for example, ConvertKit or just other email marketing software um, because um, they usually um, pay, uh, like you need to pay based on the amount of subscribers uh, your newsletter has. And Behave has a flat pricing that is really nice if you have a lot of, uh, a lot of subscribers to your newsletter. They also have enterprise level solutions made simple and accessible for everyone. So it's very easy. It's like a, a platform if you do not have uh yeah much experience with email marketing uh, software or just email marketing in general behave makes it very easy uh convert get is good for yeah what more difficult uh commerce based automations selling digital courses on products and deploying custom landing pages and funnels so if you have more experience with convert kit or i mean with um Email marketing in general, I think uh, ConvertKit is much better because it's more like, yeah, it's more complex. You, you can do more, I think. Um, you can yeah, make more automations, more, you know, if you have a big company or, you know, you need uh, to do the email marketing of a big company, I think ConvertKit is much better. But it's, yeah, you, you just need to compare it with B if you need to test it maybe, um, which can make more automations. It can be very good. If you have the experience, if you have the knowledge to, to automate things, to, to, you know, to set up a good, um, yeah, email marketing, um, funnel, email marketing, a landing page. Uh, and if you know how to sell products, then is, I think ConvertKit much better because they have more options, more functions, more, um, yeah, no, you know, abilities to, to, uh, to make automations. All right, now, now let's go to the side-by-side -side comparison. So the publication of the website, PF and ConvertKit both have it. Premium subscriptions, they both have it as well, of course. Yeah, it would be very weird if they uh, well, uh, were both free. Custom domains, um, they also both have it. Um, that's really nice because it's not like um, how to tool.convertkit.com or how to tool.behave.com that does not look very professional. So uh, embeddable su subscribe forms. So if you have a, a, a website, for example, howtotool.com, uh, and you want people to su subscribe to your newsletter, you can like embed a form on your website uh, where they can put their email address and name. Um, so yeah, like they can uh, sign up um, to your newsletter um, linked to Behave or ConvertKit. Um, user authentication and paywalling, they also both have it. So you both have the ability 
um, uh, for a paywall uh, and they have on ConvertKit. Now the RSS feed, uh, only we have uh, has this function, so it's not really important, I think, but yeah, it's nice that we have has this function. The IPA access really important function. If um, if you need it, it's really important. Uh, of course, that's yeah, <laughs> that's logical. But yeah, um, they both have it. Promotion and free trials. Yes, you can try out uh, BF as well as ConvertKit for free. I think the free trial, free program, free function, free plan of BF is much better than the free plan of ConvertKit. Um, but you need to test it yourself. Uh, I think it's much better from BF. Um, so the integrated referral program. ConvertKit does not have an integrated referral program. So they they kind of have an, an uh, affiliate or referral program, but it's kind of weird. It's not integrated well, um, but BF uh, has. Also, the one-click audience polls are really, really nice. So you can add a poll very, very easily in BF. Just with one click, uh, people can, within the email, can, you know, click um, and decide, um, yeah, make that choice, you know. They can uh, just choose which one they want. For example, um, do you like uh, Apple or Samsung? And then you can just, you know, click very easily and you can see the analytics of the poll very easily within BF and ConvertKit does not have that option. Now the uh, advanced audience, audience segmentation, both um, as well as BF as ConvertKit, ConvertKit has these options. Uh, custom fields, very important one, both of the softwares have these functions. So now the advanced analytics, this one is really, really important because if you have a large audience or if you just have an audience in general, it's important to you know to look at the data. Which email do they read? Which email do they um, not read? Which links do they click? Which um, polls do they click? Which you know when do they click? Why do they click? Maybe even you know look at the feedback. In BF, this is so much better. This is really really good in BF. So what you need to do in ConvertKit is really important. It's really you know complex to to view the data, the analytics. It's very, very advanced in, uh, in BHIF. Um, and it, yeah, you, know, can, you can go really far. It's like you can click on one specific um, subscriber of your newsletter and you can view what links they clicked, when they clicked. You can even view all of their reactions to the polls. You can view literally everything they do within, um, yeah, with that email you send, with that publication you send. That's really great. This one, yeah, sure, um, BF is much better. Custom HTML and emails, yeah, I give uh, both of the companies a point because they both have it. Real-time email verification as well. Uh, uh, yeah, BF, um, again, wins this uh, battle of real-time email verification because ConvertKit does not have this option. Again, um, predictable flat price, uh, flat, ra flat rate pricing. Um, so BHIF, like uh, I said in the beginning, has a flat rate pricing, which is really good. So they have like uh, things like 50 bucks or 100 bucks per month um, or enterprise um, just every single month. Not, you know, just you can uh, pay that every month and still grow very easily uh, and not yeah, you don't do not need to pay more um, when you you know uh, have X amount of subscribers. So and in ConvertKit you pay um, per subscriber per like uh, per thousand subscribers. I think it was or like five hundred or something. So if you have a lot of subscribers, you pay a lot, a lot, like in dozens of dollars of dollars per month if you have a lot of subscribers. So that's really like a downside of ConvertKit. So yeah, again, we have flat pricing, flat rate pricing. I think that's really, really uh, nice in this uh, industry because not a lot of companies have this flat rate pricing. Not a lot of, not a lot of email uh, marketing companies have this, but um, yeah, we have has, so really nice. Uh, recommendation network, uh, both have it. And a fully customized newsletter. So you can easily customize the whole um, 
the website, the whole newsletter, the colors, the, the font, uh, you know, the spacing, everything with MBF as well as ConvertKit. It's really, you can be really, really creative with it. Again, this is a uh, review. Um, it's uh, I'll read it for us. The best part of Behave is the analytics. Like I said, this one is really important. Behave, it's really, really great. You can see how different subscribers perform based on their acquisition channel, which is super helpful when evaluating the uh, marketing channels we use. We haven't been able to do that uh, with any other ESP, and it makes a huge, huge difference. So, uh, again, she, I'll try to fix, um, you know, she says that it's the analytics is the best part of BHIF, and I totally agree with her. It's right, really important. Yeah, it's really nice thing or be if it's like really extended it's yeah it's really great um so if you want to like take a deep dive into the analytics of your of your subscribers of your audience just check um be it's like yeah just should be if it's like really great and again i have my new a newsletter with convertkit for four years but because i don't monitor monetize my newsletter my cost became burdensome and as a newsletter skilled that made me uh, intentionally not grow my, the newsletter and created that uh, in some tires i don't know how to pronounce that word i'm sorry with beehive um or i don't know maybe it's even beehive i don't know uh, i can scale more comfortable and still keep the longer term vision on of a growing newsletter without any pressure to monetize so like what he tries to say is um when uh, when he had convert get he needed uh you know to to monetize in order to 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 like cover all of co all of his costs um with convert get so it like like i said he, he couldn't really grow um because he needs to pay such a high amount um um to convert get when uh he when he was growing his newsletter so he like like I said, uh, you need to pay per hundred per five hundred per thousand. I don't know uh, subscribers with ConvertKit. So um, we have it's a flat, flat rate pricing, which is really really great. So you can scale very much, very high. Um, yeah, you can make money uh, with Behave as well, of course, also with ConvertKit. So um, now let's go to the conclusion. So the winner of this ultimate battle. <laughs> is i think you can smell the answer it's bf so of course if you are a big big company uh you need complex automations you have a lot of money a lot of ad spend a lot of um hey will you you're putting a lot of money into uh, email marketing i think convert get is better but for the average person for the average business and uh, bf is much much better so if you want to get started with bf or convert get you never know uh, check out the link in the description. Um, yeah, if you sign up for with that link, if you use that link, I get a small commission. It helps the channel um, grow. Uh, yeah, and you like, uh, like you thank uh, me for making this video. So I want you guys uh, to thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. It means a lot. And I see you in the next video. Bye bye.